Today I'm opening up the brand new Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box. Each box comes with a pack of sleeves, some deck dividers, damage and condition markers, a V-Star marker and a pack of energy cards, and eight packs of Silver Tempest. But will the alternate art Lugia be inside? Let's rip into these packs and find out. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. The first video with the brand new channel name. I'm so excited that I finally did this. Guys, my name is Kurt and Kanto will always be my favorite region. So I'm Kanto Kurt. You can call me that in the comments. You can call me just Kanto. You can call me just Kurt. You can call me Pulch still if you want. I'll always respond to that. And I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone that subscribed and started following the channel when it was Pokey Pulch. I'll really never be able to put into words how grateful I am for you guys. You've really changed my life in so many ways. It's it's really crazy. I could sit here and ramble and get all teary-eyed and stuff, but new channel name, some new graphics, new backboard here. Let's celebrate by ripping into this brand new set. You see, see what I did there? This brand new set, Silver Tempest. I've got two elite trainer boxes right here. Let's take everything out of this first one. Eight packs of cards. Let's take a look at these brand new sleeves though. I wanna take them out of the pack here and get a good look at one of them. Let's set it aside. Still the matte sleeves, which honestly it's growing on me. I really don't mind the matte sleeves as much as I did when they first came out. Pretty cool, but look at that artwork. Alolan Vulpix, too cool. I bet a lot of people are wondering why it's not Lugia on the ETB. I'm kind of wondering the same thing. My guess is like, this is gonna be on the shelf during December and stuff, during winter, and it's got like the ice vibe to it and maybe Maybe that'll make you want to pick it up. I think what'll make you want to pick it up though is the incredible Lugia V alternate art and all of the other awesome cards in the last trainer gallery of Sword and Shield. Last one in Silver Tempest. I'm pretty sad to see them go, but at the same time, I think it's cool that they'll kind of stay special. You know, it'll always just be a Sword and Shield thing. Let's look at these deck dividers right here too. Really nice. I always like the artwork. Oh, look at that. Always like the artwork that they put into the deck dividers, all the little stuff in the ETB. It is, it's not the greatest to, you know, end up with like all of these same little products over and over again. I have so many of these V-Star markers, I really don't know what to do with them, but but here we go. Silver Tempest ETB, here's the code for you. Bam, I'm getting all thrown off today. I'm too excited over the name change. What else is in this box here? We got some damage counters here, pretty cool. No promo though, this is just the regular ETB, not the Pokemon Center ETB. I am gonna open up that one as soon as it arrives and next week on the channel, probably Wednesday, I'm gonna be opening up this Silver Tempest, uh, almost said Elite Trainer Box again, this Silver Tempest Booster Box. I'm so excited, you guys. This week has just been crazy. So much has been going on behind the scenes to make all this happen the day that I wanted to, and I'm just so happy. I'm also pretty soon on the channel. I don't, maybe before the Booster Box, I'm gonna open up the brand new Eevee collection from GameStop too. Pretty cool, not, I guess, I don't know how I feel yet just about that one, but here we go. Eight packs, let's make sure there's all eight in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of Silver Tempest. I feel like we were just opening up Lost Origin and now we already have Silver Tempest pre-release going on at a whole bunch of locations. I'll drop the link again in the description of this video so you can find the shops near you. But main cards that I'm looking to pull today after already pulling one of my main chases from the trainer gallery, the friends from Galar, I'm looking for the Lugia or the Rayquaza VMAX from the Trainer Gallery, but because this is a brand new set, there is a ton of cards that I need to get into the binder, so I'm pretty, I'm gonna be happy with pretty much anything today. We've got Litten, Fan P, Sun Kern for our reverse, and Zara Aura for our non-hollow rare, okay? Let's just keep it going, I got another ETB after this. Stoked to just finally just rip it all too. Usually when a new set comes out, I'll be able to get like a couple of pieces and I try to save it, but now I just wanna open it all up right when I get it, see what we can pull in there. Here we go, Fighting Energy, oh, and a Corkroak. Let's fight our way to these pulls. Lance, Sandigas, Fungus, Elgem, we got Zubat, Solosis, Rotom for the reverse, and the non-hollow Hisuian. Bra bravery, Bravar Bravar Bravari. I always say that one wrong too. For the rare, here we go. Let's get into this next pack. You guys can tell by my name which gen is my favorite. Bam! Here we go. 
four to the front here and let's see if this time we can break the curse i think in the past i've really never pulled anything better than like a v or a v max from an etb so if we can get like even a full art today that would be crazy we've got clink sunkern pikachu for our reverse <laughs> what <laughs> How many times now have I just like said out loud a, a card and then it happens? Here we go, Omnistar V, full art, right after I said even a full art would be cool. Here we go, let's drop the Omnistar V into a sleeve. Look at this card though. That background is incredible. Honestly, like getting to the end of uh, Sword and Shield here, I feel like they're just giving us the best artwork that they have. Let's see, four, five more packs here from the first ETB. And we'll get into that second one. I'm excited. Bam, another code for you. Here we go. Four more to the front. Let's see. I guess technically uh, I did finally break the ETB curse that I was having. And it's just for me too, you know. Everybody's luck is totally different. There's someone out there that I'm sure has pulled every alt art from only an ETB. Cobalion for our rare in this one. A couple packs left here. But for me, and I feel like maybe everybody too, let me know in the comments. Do you feel like... There's like a certain product that for you, you know, you just do better on. And that could end up being because then you start only buying that product. So that's kind of the only uh, the only results you have to pull from. But I don't know. For me, I feel like it's the three packs, the single packs really giving me the most pulls. Here we go. Relincanth, Radiant Serena. I've now pulled all three of the new Radiants from Lost. I almost said Lost Origin. From Silver Tempets. Can we get a double hit? What's behind Serena? The Omnistar V. Okay, that's interesting. Got the full art and then the V right behind it. There we go. Let's get the Radiant Serena into a sleeve. Can't believe actually that I pulled all of the Radiants already. There's definitely... I'm still missing the Steelix from Lost Origin. Here we go, bam, the Omnistar. Pretty cool artwork on this one too, even for a V card. Let's drop this into a sleeve, bam. And there's three packs left from this first ETB. And we'll rip into that second one. I'm excited to open the booster box next week too. I feel like this is gonna be the one. I feel like this is, this is gonna be the booster box for me. Here we go, Darkness Energy. We've got Worker, Clay Doll, Clang, Spinarak, Finnegan, Worker was me all week, like major overtime. We've got Fletchling, Volpix for our reverse, and the Talon Flame for the rare. But honestly, look at that Talon Flame. That's cool. Hopefully, hopefully we're all still able to appreciate just a good artwork, regardless if it's a V or an alt art or anything like that. I think it would be cool too to see Pokemon do a set where like just a total throwback set, like no V's or V Maxes or V Stars or anything like that. Just some really awesome old hollows. Here we go. Water Energy, Emergency Jelly. We've got the Candice, Feebas, Dratini, Whalmer, Clink, Growlithe, ah, oh, Surpluff in our trainer gallery spot, and the Hollow Crobat for the rare. Okay, last pack from the first ETB here. Then we'll open up that second one. Honestly though, not bad. A lot better than what I was expecting. Alternate art, a Radiant, a V. I'm very happy with that, especially for being an ETB. All right, last code for you. Bam, and I'm pretty sure these codes are working. I think once pre-release starts, the codes should be working, but maybe not. We've got Sunflora, Elgem. I think I'm saying that one right now. Elgem, Krogunk. We've got Beldum. Primordial Altar for the reverse and Gardevoir for the non hollow rare. All right, that's all for the first ETB. Let's open up this second one right here. Maybe Giratina pin will bring us some luck. Oh, also, let's check out this little booklet too. Forgot that was in the first one here. Get all of this out of the way. Bam, bam. I guess we get a bam for, for moving boxes out of the way. Here we go. First, let's take a look at this. And you know, we got to flip right to the back where all of the good stuff is right away. There we go. This trainer gallery is honestly really cool. I still personally feel like Lost Origin is my favorite trainer gallery, but there's the Rayquaza VMAX that I'm looking for. And let's check out those alt arts. Look at the Reggie Drago, the Skunk Tank, the Unknown V, and the Lugia V. All right, eight more packs inside this one. All of the same contents. Let's get you that code card though. I can grab this out of here without knocking everything over. Bam, code for you and eight more packs. Let's, I always gotta count them. I always gotta count them. One time I got nine instead of 10 in my Pokemon Center ETB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Eight packs. Let's start off with the Lugia art. I 
saw someone on Instagram the other day. I really wish I could remember who it was because I would totally shout them out. But they pulled the Lugia from the Lugia pack art. Pretty, pretty crazy. Here we go, four to the front, and we have fighting energy. Let's fight through this pack. We got Worker again, Clay Doll, Dewpider, Metatite, Chin Chow, Dratini, Esper, Slurpuff for the reverse. <laughs> And there we go! Okay, so the ETB curse has been defeated. A full art and an alternate art. The Skunk Tank V. That's crazy. We were just looking at it in the in the little booklet right there. And honestly, the centering is looking pretty great too. I really think this is an incredible card. I love when they give a big scene like this on the alternate art. It's got the Paris in the background right there. Too, too cool. Let's drop the Skunk Tank into a sleeve. Alternate art and a V, or and a, a full art. Okay, definitely able to say that I've I've, I've shook off my uh, ETB curse. Here we go, another code. I wonder if that means this one's just gonna be empty now. If we can somehow pull something else crazier. Lucky Leaf Energy, Clay Doll, Clang, Archin, Rufflet, Litten, Fanpy, Feebas, Dratini, Venomoth. Not a single trainer gallery yet today. Let's see, maybe we can get at least one trainer gallery in the rest of this ETB here. Can't believe it. I had this weird feeling that that would be the first alternate art that I pulled. Pretty weird. I don't know. Maybe I've got to start like calling out uh, calling out the pulls a little bit more. All right, Behem, Behem. I think I'm definitely saying that one wrong. We've got Venonat, Ponyta, Pikachu, Ferrisseed, Chinchow. Okay, I guess that's that's what I gotta do. I just gotta I just gotta say the cards out loud. Okay, Lugia, alternate art Lugia. But here, <laughs> we've got Melodic for the Trainer Gallery. Can we double it up, non-holo Zeraora? But there we go. This is really a beautiful card. I think I'm gonna be so sad to see the Trainer Galleries go. Hopefully they come up with something for Scarlet and Violet. Let's drop Melodic into a sleeve, one that I needed for the binder too. And I think I haven't. Uh, oh no, wait. I shouldn't say this. I won't say it out loud, but I'll say it out loud. I haven't doubled up any pulls yet, so here we go. Let's see, four to the front. I hope there's not an alternate art Lugia in here. What is happening? Primordial Altar, we got Sunflora, Worker, Sunfisk, Beldum, Emo Emolga, Durant, Finnekin, the Dene for our reverse, and the Hollow Metagross for the rare. Okay, just a couple of packs left. Super happy with these ETBs, honestly. Be pretty shocked if there's anything else in here too. Bam, another code for you. And we got four more to the front. I feel like this set is uh, really heavy on the hollows though. I feel like I've pulled a lot of hollows. Leafy Camo Poncho, Nine Tails, Stunfisk, Beldum, Emo Emolga, we got Durant, Finnekin, Clang for the reverse, and the Alolan Vulpix V from the Alolan Vulpix Elite Trainer Box. Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box, but you know what I mean. Let's drop the Alolan Vulpix into a sleeve. Bam. Again, even for a V, I don't know. It feels like they're just kind of stepping up the artwork a little bit on this. We got three packs left, counting this one. Full art, alternate art. Way more than I was expecting from some ETBs. Bam, let's get four to the front. And guys, if you stuck with this video all the way to the end, huge, huge shout out to you guys. And thank you so, so much for sticking with me after this name change. Like I was saying in the other videos, everything's staying the same, just the name, still 100% Pokemon. Still gonna be doing this two days a week, maybe more in the future. Finnekin for the reverse and the Frost Lass for the non hollow rare. Two packs left, but this ETB has already been very, very kind, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling there's at least something else hiding in here. Bam, another code for you. And four to the front, V-Star Energy. We've got Clang, Archin, Lance, Smeargle, Ferrisseed, Fletchling, Snow Runt, Volpix, Rotom for the reverse, hiding the Rainbow Rare Worker. No way. Is that two, two secret art? Two Two secret rares in one ETB. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. I don't know what it is with Silver Tempest, if the pull rates are just way turned up or if I'm just getting really, really lucky. But honestly, this is the best set I've opened so far in terms of pulls. This is really crazy. Worker with the new uh, kind of, what, what was I calling this? The TV static uh, new hollow pattern that they're putting on all the rainbow rares. It's honestly pretty cool. All right, last pack magic. If there's something in here, there's no way. 
There's, there's no way. This ETB was just way, way too stacked. Four to the front. Last pack, Magic Silver Tempest. Like I said, opening the booster box next week on the channel. Can't wait into, to get into that one and keep chasing the Lugia V alternate art. Here we go, Whalmer and the Radiant Alakazam. This is, I'm, I'm totally okay with doubling up on the Radiant Alakazam. Uh, this ETB was way, way too stacked. Can we somehow double it up? Non-hollow Zygarde, but that is okay. Let's drop the Radiant Alakazam into a sleeve. Bam. These ETBs were stacked, guys. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.